Okay, in this lesson today, I'm going to show you how to post a link to Max Blogs Press Ninja Affiliate. What this does is when you enter a title and a name into this particular tool, uh, it creates links throughout the website. So anytime the name of this book or this author's name shows up, there will be a link to it that leads to Amazon. Now, I have a special code that I want you to use for this because it is an affiliate link. It does help me make money. What you're going to do to start off is we're going to take this list that you gave me. I've already done up to mine till midnight, so we're going to start with Gardner Burning sand and we're going to go over to this Amazon link right here I'm going to go over to it now what I want from this Amazon link when it comes to books is I want this number right here after the DP so I'm going to copy that I'm going to highlight it I'm going to copy it then I'm going to go over to my word document here's the affiliate book link everything in here is pretty much my code except for this little part right here this is the book ID what we're going to do is we're going to paste what we just copied because it went down a line that tells me that there's an extra space here that shouldn't be here you want to make sure there's no spaces so I'm just going to hit the backspace now, and you see, it's gone like that. I'm going to paste it again there, and again, there's a space. I'm going to take that out, and that's it. That is my code that I'm going to copy and paste, okay? This is now my affiliate Amazon link that goes directly to that page. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the blog, and you go to Tools, and under Tools, you'll see MVP Ninja Affiliate, okay? And I'm going to click Add New Link. Now that we're in here, I'm going to skip to here, Affiliate Destination Link, and I'm going to paste what I just copied, the affiliate link. And I want to make sure there's no spaces because if you have a space it's not going to work. So I go all the way back. Actually you don't even need to check this because once you, you're done you'll see how to check it in a different way. So now I'm going to switch back to the Excel and I'm going to go back to the title and I'm going to copy the title and I'm going to go back here and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so this is the link. This is how I'll, I'll be able to find this if I ever need to change this. This is a ninja link and what I'm going to do here is I paste the title of the book and I take out the spaces and I also take out any words like the if it starts with the and I stick to the bulk of it. So what happens here is I'm creating a really pretty link. So instead of doing that, referring the book to people saying Amazon dot blah 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 blah, I can say, hey, you want to know about the Garden of Burning Sand? Go to bookviewersclub.com Garden of Burning Sand. And it's just a pretty link. Now I've still copied this up here, so I'm going to paste it again. Control V is a quick paste. Control C is copy. Control V is paste. And there it is right there. There's the title of the book. So that means anywhere on the website where the Garden of Burning Sand shows up is now going to be linked directly to my Amazon affiliate link. And here it is, right at the top. There's one keyword in there. If I want to edit it, you got to press the pencil. Delete it, you can press here. These are all the different things. So I'm going to check it by clicking on that link, and it's going to take me to the Garden of Burning Sand. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to create a link for the author okay there's two different ways to create links for the author and it depends on what their link is so generally you can click here and it'll take you but I've already got it up here so I'm gonna go to this page and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this whole link up here control a selects it all control C to copy I'm gonna go to word my word document now as you see I've got affiliate author link these two links right here are for authors now I'm gonna paste it first so I can look at it because you do need to look at it and the things that you want from this are this first part right here see I've highlighted it both here and if there's a, qu a quid number see if there's a quid number you're going to use this code if there's no quid in the ID then you're going to use this down here and you're just going to place what's in yellow versus what's in blue okay so I'm looking here is Corbin Addison's page it's all the way up to a code see here we got a code here and then we got ref knit and all this fun stuff lovely right there's no QID in there. See, if there was, it'd be a QID equals. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to take everything here. And I'm going to copy it. And I'm just going to take everything after the slash. And I'm going to paste it. And this is, now we want to make sure there's no spaces again. And there's not. So this is my link for the author affiliate. And I'm going to copy that. Come back over here. And I'm going to paste my affiliate link there. Top of that, his name is Corbin Addison. Grab that and copy it. Now for the authors, you're going to do two names. And I know this is going to sound crazy. I'm just going to hit Control V twice, and then on the second one, I'm going to put an apostrophe S. That way, when something like Corbin Addison's book shows up on the site, then the whole word will be will be linked instead of just the Corbin Addison and the apostrophe S would be left alone, which looks kind of awkward. So that's how I've done that one, and I just click. Oh, I forgot to fill in the information. Corbin Addison. I'm going to put his name up here and put his name here. Take out the space, and now I add the link. And if I want to check it, I can just click on it and we'll see if it goes to the page and there we go we've gone to his page now so now we know those links work and now we're going to do another i'm going to go back to the list mark that one as yellow to say that i'm done and i'm going to go on to the kitchen house tab over there here's the code i want I'll go back to my word document and i paste it right here if you double click where you want the asin then it'll select just that number 
see I paste and I take out the space paste no space and if you do leave the spaces in when you go to click on the link it's not going to do it copy I switch over to here add new link paste my affiliate link here I have a bad memory on what the title of the book is kitchen house copy control uh, I'm just in case you're wondering how I'm tabbing over like that with the keyboard I use Alt tab. I hold down the Alt key and I just press tab to move between the different ones. Just one of my little things because I'm too lazy to do it the other way. Anyway, the kitchen house. Take out the spaces. Convert keywords to ninja links. Paste that there. Add link. And we're going to click on it to check. I'm going to copy that. Come back here to my paper. Let's get rid of this one. We're going to control V to paste right over that. Oh, nope, this is not the right one because it's got the code in it. So let's delete that. Apparently I didn't copy it. Let's copy. Sometimes the control keys don't always work for the copy. Paste it here and see what it is. See, it's not letting me copy it. Oh, my bad. It's because I'm not going to the author page. We go to the author page. Sometimes you have to go down and click right here to go to the author page. It's a new thing Amazon is doing. Okay, and now we copy this up here, paste it right here. Again, no QID. So we're just going to take this information right here. We're going to copy it and we're going to paste it right after the code. So we're going to copy that, come over here. Max Ninja Press. I always like to copy because then you don't misspell anything by accident. And again, I'm just doing Control V to paste. And I hit Enter and apostrophe S. No caps, apostrophe S. And just to check the link, we click on the name, and there we go. We've gone straight to her page. So we're going to close these out. Uh, now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to show you Timothy Ferris, who I believe I already have in here. So when I do this, it's probably going to say a repeat, but I want you to see exactly. Oh no, Cami Garcia. We're going to look for Cami Garcia because I want to show you how to do it if there's a QID. Actually, you know what? I've got some down here. Um, I haven't actually added some of these authors yet. Here we go. Johanna Lindsay. Okay. So jo here's Johanna Lindsay's. No, we're going to add me now. So I've never actually added my name to the site. I'm going to paste it here just like I got it from Amazon. Okay. And here is the QID right here. So if I got this from Amazon, it would just look like this. And this is the part that I'd want to change after the QID. So with the QID, we're going to use this one. And again, right here is where we cut off. Okay. You're going to take this code right here and you're going to copy and paste it here. Okay. And then this right here is what you want to place after the QID equals. So I've taken this code from, so in coding, I pasted that and I'm changing the QID. I'm changing the QID right here. I'm taking this, I'm copying it, and I'm replacing it here. Well, actually to make sure that it looks, oh, no, they are different. Okay, so we can see that they're different. You see the numbers, one, one, two, one, one, whatever. I'm gonna highlight just the blue part and I'm gonna press Control V and I wanna make sure there's no spaces. Okay, so, now I've got E.T. Barton, here's the encoding, there's the QID, there's the code for the QID, and it's before the and tag. Here is the whole link that I'm going to copy. I'm going to come over here, add a new link, paste it here, E.T. Barton, E.T. Barton. And now I'm going to do something a little different, since this is initials, part of the reason why I wanted to show this to you. So I'm going to do this twice, just like that, and I'm going to put an apostrophe S. Yes. Now not everywhere on the site is it going to be E dot T dot space. Sometimes it'll be e dot space dot t dot space Barton. And if that's the case, then I'm going to copy this again because I'm lazy and I don't like to retype apostrophe s. Yes. So now anytime anywhere on the site it says, um, I'm also going to put in my real name, Erica Barton, Erica Bartens, Erica T. Barton, Erica T. Bartens. Um, obviously any variations that you would do for the name. You want to put in as many as you can think of that. For example, Timothy Ferris is often called Tim Ferris. So if you kind of know that it could be mixed up, then you would put Timothy Ferris and you'd put Tim Ferris. So just like these are all the different names I'm often called. So now anywhere where these names show up on the site, it'll link directly to my author page. And I just click add link and now I'm going to check it. And there's my author page right there. So obviously if it didn't work it would tell you there's no such page, it doesn't exist, which means you probably have a space and you'd want to go back and check for the space. So that's basically how you add a book and an author name to Max Blog Press Ninja, which is under Tools. Um, 
Some of these, you can see this one has eight keywords. Some of them only have one or two. This one has four. Um, this tells me how many clicks have happened on that. So if people are clicking on some of these links, that's great. It's potential for me to make more money and I can keep track of it on this site, on this particular page. So that is how you add these. I want you to go ahead and go through the list and add the books and the authors, just like I showed you. Try to remember if you added an author already, uh, so that way you don't add. Well, if you try to add them twice, it's going to tell you you already added them and it won't let you do it. So that's it. Thank you.